Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is my first video of 2019. I took a little break for a while there. Things got a little hectic towards the end of the year. Um, on Thanksgiving Day, I actually had kind of an emergency surgery. It was my first surgery ever. I had appendicitis and so I went to the emergency room and they did surgery on Thanksgiving Day. And then I was in the hospital for four days and then back to work the next week. I do work Monday through Friday and I try to do this on the side. Of course, like I said, things got a little busy. Well, then December rolled around and my dad had been sick and he ended up passing away right before Christmas. And then we had the holidays and New Year's. I had car trouble. My transmission went out on my other vehicle and so I had to get a new one. And then, like I said, between working and all of that, there was just no time for YouTube at, the, at that time. So I am back now and with a new cleaning video for you all and I hope you enjoy it. If you do, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel and help me grow this channel. That would be wonderful and have you be a part of my YouTube family. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and I would love for you to subscribe. Thanks!
just wanted to pop back on here real quick and say that this actually did not mean to turn into kind of a deep clean of the kitchen but I noticed that under the stovetop it was really dirty and the stovetop was really dirty and in my burners was too so I decided well while I'm cleaning I might as well clean that too and film it for you guys so I hope this gives you motivation to go and do a deep clean it's not quite spring yet but who really says it needs to be spring to do a spring clean? So I encourage you to get in there and just deep clean your kitchen. I still need to get inside my oven and clean, but maybe that'll be for a different video. pretty simple cleaning products. I don't go above and beyond and spend a bunch of money on anything, but I will try to link what I used in this video down below if I can find it and let you guys just kind of see what I use.
My floor was so dirty that I could have taken my broom around on it, but I just felt like the vacuum would have done such a better job at it. Let me know in the comments below, do you guys have hard floors? And if you do, do you vacuum them or do you sweep them? Which is easier for you or which do you prefer or which do you think gets the floor cleaner? I personally feel like the broom can get into more spaces, but I feel like the vacuum does a better job in getting up all of the little itty bitty things we have dogs and so their hair is very fine and sometimes the broom just doesn't quite get it so we will take the vacuum around and just vacuum the hard floors because it seems like it just gets all of those little itty bitty pieces of dirt or hair or lint even that maybe the broom doesn't quite get or it kind of flies away from the broom so let me know in the comments below which you guys prefer to do Now that all the cleaning's done, I'm going to turn my Scentsy on and light my candles and just relax, but I wanted to point out that beautiful flag in the middle of my sofa table. My dad was in the military, he was in the army and was in Vietnam, and so when he passed away, he was cremated, that was per his wishes. And so we don't have a headstone in a cemetery somewhere, so that is like a memorial to him. I have one, my mom has one, and my brother has one. And that's just kind of our little memorial to him. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me as I took time off. I really do appreciate it if you've stuck around this long. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a like, a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!